In this video, we're going to talk about uh, alternative coins to mine if you've got uh, mining hardware, GPU mining hardware, when proof of stake happens. And we'll talk about the, the latest projections on when uh, proof of stake will take over proof of work for Ethereum 2.0. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to get the console you want. So I'm definitely a small miner. I only have basically one rig, although I put a second rig in to uh, work. So I've got a, a, a 1650 Ti laptop that I'm mining ETC because you can't mine ETH. Uh, but I bas basically really the only rig that I have is uh, a 3080 Omen computer. So I mostly do editing and some gaming on that, and this is a gaming channel. And so, uh, you know, I've been mining Ethereum. We've got a couple payouts already, you know, been able to cash out about a couple hundred dollars so far. Uh, I don't have a position. Uh, this is not investment advice. Uh, I'm not an investment advisor. I'm not your investment advisor for sure. Uh, but, you know, my, my take is that I just, you know, do it for extra cash and I don't really believe in cryptocurrency. And so I don't, you know, I don't want to speculate on it. I just want to get the money in cash. Um, but, you know, of course, that's not possible. You get the cryptocurrency and then you have to try to try to cash it out. Uh, so. I've been mining uh, for a couple months, not quite a couple months, uh, and, uh, you know, I've been on Ethermine, right, which I think if you look at the pools, the it's like the largest pool with about a 27% market share here, uh, if you go to miningpools.com. And so if you've got... Uh, we're here at Minerstat, and we're looking at kind of the, the most profitable coins for a 3080, which I think, you know, I've got a paper. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, my paper, I'm an academic, I'm a finance professor, uh, about the most profitable cards to have if you're mining, right? That in terms of the, the correlation, both in the hash rate but also the correlation with the ethereum price which at the moment has rallied quite a bit uh so you know ethereum is is about you know uh, so the most profitable just when i'm looking at it right now it's saying 883 per day for a 3080 um and if we kind of go down the list to try to find a non-ethereum pool uh, Conflux, which Conflux is just a tiny coin, uh, so 611, so that versus 883. So you're taking a 30% uh, price cut, and then Raven coin, and then Cero. Uh, we've got Octopus. Uh, all these are tiny, tiny coins by market cap. Let's see if we can even find Raven coin in the uh, the list RV Raven coin is in the top 90 coins by market cap with 1.2 billion versus if you're looking at Bitcoin uh, that's like 1.15 trillion and Ethereum is almost half a trillion in market cap right now so you're talking about a much less liquid you know much more speculative coin that you're mining much harder to liquidate uh than uh ethereum or bitcoin for all these things uh so yeah i mean let's look down the list if we have anything else there's xano a very tiny coin i don't and then etc so you etc is getting about half uh of what you're getting for uh, Ethereum, right? And so I've been mining ETC with the my 1650 Ti laptop, which I use for live streaming, and that's getting about half what it would get uh, if it was on Ethereum. So probably ETC is the most liquid of these things. If you're just trying to, you know, you you don't 
want to hold the coins for a ton of time and you want to have a relatively easy time cashing out. Now, it's possible you could go on like a nice hash and uh, you know, be able they'll give you some liquidity on nice hash, although nice hash has been hacked and uh, so you don't have uh, I don't think you have as much security if you're mining on nice hash versus your own wallet. Uh, but maybe I don't know. Uh, you know, I had a really you know I had a really bad experience using the wallet that they have uh, for Coinbase, and I lost my first mining payout basically from Coinbase stealing it. So, you know, I'm really really worried about you know having somebody hold the basically the wallet or or uh, you know I mean because Nice Hash does the the they they convert whatever you're mining into bitcoin right and then give you the bitcoin payout and so it's it's not it's doing a lot of things uh not just uh being a wallet or being a uh software program and i i actually found for my my four uh ra four gigabyte ram machine the 1650 ti that their programs didn't work so i you know i had to use the other other mining software programs uh so yeah i mean i think it's a big step down you're looking at you know 20 to half easily but you know you keep on going down the coins so i mean i think etc is gonna be there and maybe you know i mean maybe etc will rally in the sense that it has more liquidity so if you look at um, just here's the ether mine. It says it's got uh, one million workers, right? So that's one million GPUs. Uh, so you know, compare that. So that that would mean if it's they've got a twenty-seven percent share, then that means that that's about four million GPUs are on the. Uh, on the the ethereum network right so there's four million gpus that are going to have to be moved that if they want to continue to get some mining revenue are going to move somewhere else when we get to ethereum 2.0 so i think the estimate is that you know it's probably going to happen in june i think uh that was kind of like son of tech's estimate uh based on the current press releases of course they can they can push back Ethereum 2.0 forever. Maybe they will, but that's not very long from now. Let's say that 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 happens to be the date. Uh, nine months is not very long, so not it's not really you know if you're doing an ROI calculation and it's coming out over a year before you break even on on a card, then uh, that's not very good. Now I bought my machine for editing right and the 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 mining is a bonus right so you know i'm not long mining you know i'm long my youtube channel i'm not but i'm not long on, on mining and so you know if you're making investments in cards right which i would discourage because i think a lot of gamers want the cards and but you're not going to listen to me so, uh, but that would be my official take is that you should only have the cards that you can, you are going to use for your gaming computer. But I know that not everybody that watches this video is going to agree with that. Uh, and, but in terms of the investment decisions of that, that, you know, you have to take into account that if we get to Ethereum 2.0 and we move from proof of work to proof of stake, then you know conceivably you're going to see half the profits or or 70 percent of the returns on that right uh because as you go down the list right etc is 432 versus uh 883 so that's a, almost exactly half and the other problem is if you've got 4 million cards moving to ETC and other smaller coins than ETC, uh, Ethereum Classic, then, you know, like right now, you've got 90,000 workers 
on on ether mine right and uh, let's see if we can i think ether mines etc has uh they've got a 50 almost 50 percent market share so that's only like 180 thousand gpus on that well if a significant portion of those 4 million GPUs used to move to ETC, it could be the, the computational difficulty goes up, right, such that it, its profitability goes way down, right? So that's the big question is, uh, and I don't know the answer to that, and maybe some of you who've thought about it more than I have would have an answer to that. You know, if you have more miners on a thing, yeah, the computational difficulty is going to go up, but maybe also the liquidity of the of the coin goes up, and also maybe its its, uh, it's price goes up. So maybe the liquidity effect is better uh, with more miners versus the computational difficulty. I don't know. I kind of think it it's going to get worse. The, the, you got uh, more computational difficulty, and the price effects will not offset that enough. Uh, so that the prices that you see now are probably going to be low, you know, the 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 price per hash that you're going to get is going to be lower than uh, if if you uh, than today, right? That would be my guess, but I could be wrong. And you know, let me know in the comments what you think. You know, what's the effect of a ton of miners moving from ETH to Ravencoin to um, to uh, ETC on on the the price of those those cryptocurrencies, right? Are they gonna rally? You think? I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. Uh, you know, I would think that they would be the prices would reflect the expectations of that move, right? And it would only be surprises to the expectations that the, the prices don't reflect. But that, you know, that's my take. Like, so if ETC is, you know, uh, 90,000 um, GPUs, right? Ravencoin is only like 30,000 GPUs, uh, at least on Ethermine. Ergo is only like 3,000 uh, GPUs on the fly pool. And uh, this is just fly pool. And Zcash, only 5,000 GPUs on that, right? So if you have a ton of GPUs going on to these, I would think that would really just kill the, the computational difficulty, even for ETC, because it's just so much smaller than, than uh, Ethereum, right? And so you need really a price rally for these coins to to compensate for that. So what does that mean? That means that there's the potential that when we do go to Ethereum 2.0, that there's a huge crash in the price of GPUs and also a huge crash in the, you know, the just mining profits in general, right? For, for GPU mining. Now, it could be that some coins are going to want to absorb that proof of stake and the pricing of those coins will be sufficient to compensate for that. I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but I could be wrong. We, and it could be also true that um, they, the, it could be true that the Ethereum never goes to 2.0, that they're always going to be proof of work, right? Or they delay it so long that by that time, you know, obsolescence of your GPUs will be a bigger issue than anything, right? All right, subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to get the console that you want.